everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing our living room sofa. So if you're interested, please keep watching. So I wrote down a list of questions that I wanted to know when I was searching for a couch. And especially reviewing a couch, I wanted to know specific things. So I wrote down eight things that I think you guys may be concerned about. Again, if there's more things that you would like to know about this couch, please leave a comment below. I'll definitely make sure to answer your questions as soon as I can. And I also will have the link to this couch in the description box if you want to check it out for yourself. So the first question, what did I buy? We got the four piece access sectional sofa from Crate and Barrel. With this, we decided to get the chaise on the right and it looks like it's on the left, but I think they go by how it is when you're facing the couch versus you sitting on it. And so, yeah, it's super spacious. That was one of the reasons why we chose this couch because Literally, it just felt like we were so far away from each other. Everybody had all of the room we needed. It just checked all of our boxes. So the next question is, is it comfortable? Plush or is it firm? Do you like to sit on it or no? <laughs> and for us, it was a little bit of both. When we first got it, obviously, I'm sure most sofas are a little bit firm. But we didn't feel like it was like hurting our backs or that we were sitting on rocks. It definitely felt like there was some plushness to it but it just felt it didn't feel firm it felt sturdy if that makes sense it felt really sturdy and we really like that because that means that it's going to stand the test of time <laughs> especially with kids jumping and running on it we didn't want anything that was going to start dipping or deflating and so that was one of the reasons why we went with this one it was just the perfect blend of soft and comfortable but also it didn't feel like you had to pull yourself up out of the couch I did not want that as well it just looked well put together especially after the kids played on it it still looked good and so the next question is is it stain resistant it definitely is with this one if, if you pour water on it it will get wet it will seep through but it won't seep through to the actual cushion because my son peed on this couch the first day we got it and I noticed when I took the cover off that the actual cushion was still very, was still dry. There was no contact. It didn't even go through the actual cover. There's layers to the cover and it didn't even go through that. So it felt like it was super, super like protected. It was amazing and I was so happy and I was so nervous, but I was so happy when I um, uncovered just how protected this couch is. It was awesome. And we've had a few stains along the way. So I really don't know what this stain is. I'm assuming the kids probably just got some sticky food on the couch. But all I did was put some soapy water on this dish rag. And all you do is just wipe it. And it comes right off. It feels like it didn't go past a certain layer. I don't know what type of protective layer they have on here. But literally, that's it, you guys. That is it. And this has, I was trying to save this stain. I know that sounds disgusting, but I'm sure it was just food. But I was trying to save this stain for the purpose of the video. So it was literally dried on here. And now it's just super soft. And it, guys, this fabric is amazing. So the next question is, can you wash the fabric? And I kind of touched on that um, in the last question. But yes, you can. You can definitely wash it. Um, I even did like a steam cycle on it just to make sure it didn't get wrinkled. I'm, I don't even think I needed that. This fabric is so tough and not in the feel aspect but more of the durability. It's so tough. You will not have any issues putting it in the washing machine. It also comes out feeling very soft still, which I like because I really liked how soft this couch is. You will definitely love the feel of this couch. It doesn't feel hot. It, it gives you kind of like a cool feel when you sit on it. It doesn't like just soak in a bunch of heat, which is also really, really great because summer months you don't want to be sweating in a couch. It feels really, really good. And washing it doesn't mess it up at all. It's super easy to do. You just unzip the uh, cover, throw it in the wash, and you're, you're good to go. The next question is, does the fabric fray or pile? I haven't had any issues with fraying. 
Definitely haven't had any issues with piling. I don't even think it can pile. The fabric is that tightly woven. You literally couldn't fray it or pile it if you tried. It is so, so soft still. My kids are, are rough. They love to jump on it. They love to play on it. And sometimes fabrics, like people's clothing, can be rough on sofas. But we've had people over and haven't had any issues with that. This fabric is really, really tough, you guys. You're not going to have to worry about fraying or piling. The next question is, what do I like about it? What made me choose this sofa over the other ones that we were looking at? And I love the durability. I speak on this all the time when I'm talking to my friends or family about this couch. The durability is unmatched. And we know of what we speak of because we bought so many couches over the years. Oh, guys, it literally is the most durable couch that we've ever had. And with kids, you just want something that's going to last. Unfortunately, you know, most couches just don't have the durability factor. They can look nice, feel nice, but are they going to withstand two-year-olds? <laughs> and it does. It really, really does. My kids can jump on the couch. I wanted it to be something where I didn't have to tell my kids, okay, stay off the couch. Or like, I wanted the couch to be inviting. I wanted the couch to change, not my kids. I will say that this couch has stood up to the test of time. It's only been two months. But we definitely made this couch a part of our family. And so it's 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 hanging in there. And I just love that. The next question is, what do I dislike about the couch? So I dislike the fact that when you sit on the back cushion quite frequently, sometimes it can get a little bit bent out of shape. So you just have to fluff it up. And if that's the only negative, then I'm, sh I'm sure you have to fluff up other couch pillows as well. But this one, because the fabric is so tough, it can take a little bit of elbow grease. But for the most part, that's been my only gripe. But that, again, that's not a big deal. Just fluff the pillows and you're fine. Last question, how much was it? And explain why I paid so much. And yes, I wrote that question down because I know you guys, after I say the price, are gonna be like, girl, bye. So we spent, uh, oh, okay, I'll just say what it costs because taxes and fees, obviously, but the couch costs, for this specific model and fabric, $6,596. I know, before you say anything, I know, I know, I know, it's expensive. But guys, listen, every couch that we've had that was quote unquote good was around like $3,000. And we've had to go through at least three couches in the past three years, three or four years. And so I wanted something that I didn't have to keep recycling I wanted to keep a couch, buy a couch and keep a couch. That was gonna be our investment. And yeah, it's expensive, but I really, really, really love this couch. If I were out there searching for a really good durable couch that was gonna be great for my family over the years, I would get this couch. It's amazing. So guys, that's basically it. I hope I answered a lot of questions that you may have had. I know I had those type questions when I was searching for a couch, so I hope I answered everything. If I didn't, please leave me a comment below. I love hearing from you guys. And again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.